Hello everyone, so welcome back and uh, today we are going to discuss something important that is stall okay so what is stall stall is a state of flight when due to increase in angle of attack there is a loss of lift increase in drag and loss of control okay loss of flight control basically so this is the definition of stall okay so now we'll start discussing with the primary aspects how stall occurs and uh, why as you can see in the definition it is due to the increase in angle of attack okay so before discussing the increase in angle of attack we'll again just have a quick recap of the flowing pattern around the wing okay so this is your a different sketch laminar flow this is your turbulent flow right and this point is your transition point stagnation point all right so now what happens in a stall with increasing angle of attack this transition point moves forward okay so the pattern becomes around about something like suppose your angle of attack is increasing so the transition point has come here it was somewhere here when the normal but angle of attack has increased since the relative airflow is like this and this is your angle of attack alpha angle of attack has increased your transition point moves forward and this results into a stall okay so stall when you increase angle of attack there's a loss of lift and increase in drag as you can if you remember the diagram so lift angle of attack lift so as you increase angle of attack till a certain point the lift increases and after this the stall occurs so this is your critical angle stalling angle or you can even call it as bubble point okay so at this point the aircraft stalls angle of attack critical angle stalling angle bubble point at this point the uh, air flow above the wing becomes turbulent and the transition point moves forward and this leads to a stall okay so now we'll discuss the stall speed all right so stall speed now stall speed is we'll discuss the 1g stall speed if you remember the lift formula lift formula is given by half rho v square cl s i hope you know the terms all right uh, if not refer to the previous uh, lift video okay from the lift video if you take and if we, we know that load factor equal to lift by weight this is g so at 1g lift equal to weight right so in this case what we come to know is 1 vs stall speed at 1g is given by 
lift by half rho v square v is here c l max s because at 1g this point c l max this is also c l max maximum lift coefficient you will get at this point c l max and the aircraft will stall just after that so stall speed at 1g is given by this formula all right so now we shall be discussing the signs of stall okay signs of stall so signs of stall are flight controls are less effective right second and speed is low and decreasing further rapidly okay third one is nose attitude is quite high than normal fourth is aerodynamic buffet this is an important point aerodynamic buffet starts to buffet okay then you have uh, maybe stall warning devices are are in action so these are few signs of stall now what are what are symptoms of stall simple ones wing just drops second one nose drops after stall just nose drops third one loss of height or altitude okay fourth one this is symptoms of stall this is just after stall what happens symptoms of stall then you have heavy aerodynamic buffet here it was marginally less and here you'll have aerodynamic less okay and uh, now i'll just write down few steps that are conditions to stall already i mentioned in the definition but just writing it down all right so a stall occurs when air flow separates earlier than normal the transition point basically moves forward okay this leads to loss of kinetic energy of the boundary layer okay and cl max is the coefficient of lift where stall occurs okay and now few important points are stall can occur at any air speed or altitude okay this is important second point stall for a given aerofoil always occurs at a constant or same angle of attack is that clear so stall will occur at the same angle of attack for a given aerofoil okay 
and uh, now we'll discuss few aerofoil shapes okay so how the cp moves around an aerofoil okay so cp so suppose you have a rectangular form the the root tends to fall, uh, stall generally first and the cp will move like this cp movement now if you have a tapered wing okay where the c by t ratio is less okay so here also the stall the cp moves like this but in, in this the tip stalls first okay the tip stall first and then you have a swept back wing right swept back wing the cp moves like this towards the root and forward as well but again it stalls at the tip tip stall now stall if you want to avoid it, you would prefer a root stall first okay now what happens is we don't use rectangular aerofoil due to the inefficiencies of aerodynamics involved with it so we have to use the swept back now but swept back has a problem of tip stalling first and the cp moves like this now th we'll discuss the problems that uh, swept back wing get along with them all right so swept back wing since i've drawn swept back wing here so swept back wing what happens with the tip stalls first swept back wing tips stall first this leads to increase downwash at tail plane this further leads to increase in pitch up moment rapidly so this is a very dangerous form of stall happening tips will stall first in the swept back wing this will lead to increase in downwash at the tail plane right and this will lead to a further increase in pitch up moment rapidly and the aircraft will can go out of control easily so now we have to avoid the these characteristics right so for those we have few methods to so stop we have discussed in the previous video as well wing fences sawtooth vortex generators all right vortex generators and then you have vortilons vortilons and so on so the idea of this is to induce root stall of all these please uh, refer the previous video to know about all these uh, things the idea or the concept of using these are to induce root stall because it's happening a tip stall is happening so we have to induce a root stall so hence we'll have a root stall induced due to this and also the secondary objective is to reduce span wise flow of air so these are the two objectives of wing fences sawtooth vortex generators vortilons and there are a lot of uh, further uh, applications of these okay so these two are the primary objectives to avoid a tip stall another thing yeah, another thing that can be done is a wash out i'll write it here wash out now what is wash out wash out is increase of incidence from root to tip sorry decrease so decrease in incidence decrease of incidence angle from root to tip now what happens is if you that means basically the tip has tip has 
higher incidence right so what happens is when the air is hitting the tip is generating lift so this will reduce the span wise flow and this washout is a basically an aerodynamic it's also called as an geometric twist or an aerodynamic twist of the wing wing form okay so aircraft is twisted like this so that the incidence at the tip has a higher angle so when the airflow hits the tip it generates more lift and that hence avoids the tip stall okay so this washout is also largely used all right so now we'll uh, we'll be discussing in the next video stall is a pretty a bigger chapter so we'll be discussing in the next video regarding we'll continue stall basically and we'll discuss stall recovery how to uh, stall warning systems that, that are there and different types of stalls all right and uh, specific uh, factors affecting stall in the next video all right see you